Hello everyone, this is Darling Tarot Hat, and today we are doing a pick card reading New Moon in Gemini Messages. I love doing these videos, those videos are my favorites to film. I love doing my craft with the faces of the moon. As you know, in this channel, uh, since the beginning, I started doing the new moon messages and the full moon messages and depending on the zodiac sign there is a different message each time so for the new moon in gemini the new moon in gemini invites us to start communicating our feelings better communicating our thoughts gemini is one of the zodiac signs that corresponds to the element of the air and the air element is all about our mental work uh, how our brains work how we choose to communicate the words we speak the the words we write down so i feel like communication is going to be a key element in this particular reading so without further ado uh, i have pile number one with the clear quartz stone i have pile number two with the green adventure stone and i have pile number three with the blue lace agatha stone you can pause the video and meditate a little bit to figure out which pile has the right message for you you can always come back to this part of the video if something doesn't really resonate to you it is totally fine just come back to this part of the video and pick another pile and go to the corresponding timestamp from my description box down below to get to your message a little bit faster and without further ado let's move on to the readings hello this is for everyone who picked pile number one with a clear quartz stone here is your message oh interesting we have the hanged man this is a major arcana card it is card number 12 uh this is a very interesting card i rarely get this card in my personal readings or the readings i do for people uh so to me this card is a very mysterious one which i never really uh get to experience in readings i don't know why i never get this card but here we are for your reading today uh i have an interesting message for you to deliver so in this particular card as you can see there is this femoroseic person we have uh, uh, we have them hung upside down um, and in this gorgeous red gown. So I really feel like you need to focus your energy on uh, pausing for a moment and think outside of the box. And uh, it to me, it feels like you need to see things from another perspective. The hanged man is an interesting uh, message to deliver to people uh, most people think that they always think outside the box they always think of their next move or they think that everything has to be go 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 but in this case i feel like you need to pause for a moment uh, and also i feel like you have been a victim to your own situation for a while you have been experiencing some kind of um how do I say this? I feel like people have mistreated you and uh, they have wronged you and it made you feel like you need to step back but uh, this step back doesn't uh, and this step back doesn't really mean that you won't get to do the thing that you want you just need to feel safe before you start doing something and feeling safe is important it is vastly important to be uh, honest uh, but i really really feel like you uh, need to take a moment and breathe and see things from another perspective maybe there is something out there that uh, you think is keeping you from doing the things that you want but in reality it is saving you uh, from the worst or um, it makes you pause because there is something better for you out there so let's see which thing is it is it the first one i said or is it something else that's too many cards i'll get them back immediately uh these cards uh this deck is one of my favorites but as you can see they are rather slippery uh let's ask let's see oh we have our card already yeah someone has stolen your moment uh we have the seven of swords the seven of swords is one message and one message only it means stealing it means um that someone has still uh, has stolen your light someone wants what you have and um, it nearly broke you down it made you feel like you needed to uh, gather yourself you need you needed to protect your energy protect yourself um this is a very interesting imagery it seems to me like uh there is this wolf that uh 
hands down uh, this person, but this person holds so many knives, they can totally um, turn around the energy and attack, but they choose to hide instead. So uh, what I said before with you protecting your energy and needing to pause, maybe it's for the best because maybe you have all the right tools to fight back, but maybe you are not protected enough uh, to do so. It is uh, totally okay if you're not ready to uh, fight back with your words, but uh, also I feel like speaking out will help you tremendously. Maybe not to your situation as it is right now, but we'll see. We'll get uh, more cards. How, what will help you come out of this situation though? Let's see, we have our card and it is the Ten of Wands. Interesting. Um, we have a major arcana card in the middle. So this new moon in Gemini for you feels very, very important an important timestamp uh, for this month. And the Seven of Swords, like I said, the Swords correspond to the air element, our communication. And it corresponds to the message of the New Moon in Gemini as well. But I feel like your communication skills are kind of blocked. And you need to take a step back and protect your energy, like I said, with the Seven of Swords. But we have the Ten of Wands, which is an interesting um, outcome of this particular uh, reading. The Ten of Wands basically means that you did everything that you could have done and you did it very very well and now it is a time for you to um, feel accomplished most of times the ten of wands uh, mean that there is some kind of uh, finished product but that there is the burden of it but in this particular deck this message does not apply as you can see we have uh, another figure knowing exactly where they were supposed to be uh, they hold their wands they know exactly where they're going so i feel like after this moment of pause it will help you clear out your path uh tremendously so i feel like you really need to follow the advice of pausing even though the new moon in gemini the gemini uh, sign is very energetic because uh it's just the third sign it's not really um an older sign if you know what i mean let's see let's get more messages uh i want to turn this one hmm the five of cups a very interesting meaning. I feel like you mourn the losses of things that you, um, that you that you don't see, uh, that you that you think you need it, but you have already what you, you. It feels to me like you already have what you wanted, but in front of you all there is always a feeling of uh, loss. I'm not sure how this message corresponds to a specific. Um, message I have been giving out with these cards. I feel like this particular card means something very, very different. Maybe this is your emotional life. Uh, maybe this is uh, your love life because the cups correspond to our emotions and how they uh, work and how uh, people make us feel and what we feel for ourselves on the inside. And this card basically means that uh, you don't see what you have because you focus your energy uh, too much in the outside responses. I feel like... Um, there, there are people around you that you thought you needed in your life, but they came out as toxic to you. And uh, now it feels like you're mourning the loss of this uh, friendship, even though it feels to me like you already have people around you who love and adore you exactly as you are. I want to get one more card to see how this message uh, corresponds. Yeah, we have the Ten of Cups. You All you crave is happiness. Your deepest desire falls back to uh, the feeling of happiness. You want to just be happy. You want to be with your loved ones. You want to be with your family. You want to feel uh, loved by the people you love. And uh, I really feel like this is something that you will be getting very, very soon with the new moon uh, in Gemini. Um, this new moon in Gemini holds a lot of energy. Uh, maybe this is just something that you need to focus your energy in order to manifest until the full moon, the next full moon. Um, so 
to me it feels like whatever you feel like you lost there is always something to make up for it your family your friendships your relationships like i said this two of cups is something that you uh don't see right now because you focus your energy too much uh, to what has happened to you maybe this is uh the moment someone who stole your life someone who has forced you uh to feel like you're a victim in your own situation uh but i feel like you are handling it very very well this card basically reminds me of my best friend and my best friend is uh amazing as at what we they do and uh I truly feel like you are going to come out of this situation victorious and you will love it. You will love the outcome of um, whatever you're manifesting in this uh, new moon. I, uh, side note, if you don't know what uh, the new moon energy basically means, uh, the new moon is uh, an energy that, we, that helps us manifest new beginnings, new emotional beginnings to be act, actually exact. Uh, and the fact that it is in Gemini, it basically means that uh, it enhances new beginnings uh, to this particular zodiac sign of Gemini. And the Gemini qualities is communication, is uh, partnerships, is um, uh, communicating our thoughts and our feelings uh intellectualizing uh what we have inside our brain also new ideas because i really feel like there is something uh about your emotional self that needs to uh come out as an idea as a project uh, i'm not sure if you are an artist or uh, something uh, else but i feel like you can focus your energy on something artistic because you have the ten of cups which is our emotional side and you have the ten of wands the wands correspond to our passions something that makes us feel alive um so artistic projects really uh correspond to this uh particular ten of wands uh energy the wands energy uh, and of course most of uh artistic projects come from our emotional side so the ten of cups you have two tens the ten of wands and the ten of cups very interesting energy uh, I want to get a romantic message because, of course, this is the new moon and up until the full moon. Uh, ah, we also have the full moon in this particular card over here. So I really believe that you will feel emotionally fulfilled by the full moon uh, of, the, of the next month, basically. Uh, this is a gorgeous message. I'm really happy for you guys. But I want to get a love message in particular. Let's see. A romantic message for people who choose pile number one with a clear quartz. We have the let go of control issues. Yeah, I feel like uh, this corresponds to the hanged man and the seven of swords very, very well. Uh, even though I don't really feel like you have control issues, but maybe uh, inside your head, this is something that you need to work on. Um, you know that uh, you can't control other people and their emotions, but um, it feels to me like you think that you want that. Uh, because of your circumstances or maybe because of how you have been, um, how other people have treated you while you were growing up. But in any case, this just means that you need to pause, just like the hanged man um, suggests, because the situation needs from you to be calm and to be... Um, just to be calm and collected. You don't have to think about everything at all times this is not your job your job is just to make yourself feel happy in this life so a romantic i know this doesn't really sound very very romantic but to me it just means that you need to uh let go of things that you cannot control anymore i want to get one more because this uh like i said this doesn't really sound romantic and I really feel like a specific something for you. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see the message. Yeah, calling in your soulmate. I knew it. I knew it. Um, <laughs> like I said, uh, I felt a uh, calling. Uh, I felt like getting another card because I really feel like this has something to do uh, because you are manifesting a soulmate. Uh, this new moon in Gemini really invites you to call your soulmate because 
communicating your needs is important and to actually be specific, uh, communicating your thoughts to your specific someone is uh, what will help you tremendously with your love life. This card says your prayers, affirmations and visualization help bring you together. So keep on manifesting your soulmate. Keep uh, thinking about how uh, lovely it makes you feel. Think about all the beautiful things that you want to experience with these people. All these uh, this particular person or people that you want to manifest, your soulmates. Uh, I really feel like for you, um, affirmations is something that will help you a lot because like I said, we have the new moon in Gemini. Gemini is communication. So communicating your needs to other people too is something that will help you tremendously uh, with uh, calling in your soulmate. But also, we have two very interesting cards. We have the let go of control issues and calling in your soulmate. So keep on manifesting, keep on visualizing. But always after this visualization, you need to drop it. Because if you keep on manifesting, it will never come. Because what happens is that you keep manifesting the same thing over and over again. And you need to... Uh, let go of the outcome and detach from the outcome. This is where the control issues um, keeps beating you uh, in the ass, obviously. So uh, I think that I want to get one last card just to make uh, sure of the message for you today. Let's see. What is the outcome of this reading for people who will choose pile number one with the clear cords? A general message. Let's see what you got. Why? Interesting. Um, maybe this uh, reading made you uh, rethink your um, affirmations and your visualizations. Uh, the Y card is an interesting card to get because uh, it makes me think that you are somebody who... Um, uh, it makes me wonder how... Hmm. The Y card is an interesting card to get because this is uh, a very interesting image and a very interesting title for a card. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't really uh, show us much. It doesn't really give you a message. I feel like you need to focus your energy on your intention a little bit better and ask yourself why you need a specific something uh, when you're manifesting it. It is uh, totally okay if something uh, as an intention to you is kind of selfish or it sounds selfish to other people, but be clear about your intentions a little bit better because our intentions uh, is what comes to us. Uh, if our intentions are to harm other people, this harm is going to come to us uh, one day or another. So be very prepared uh, for what it is to come and focus your energy on being kind and feeling um, close to your loved ones and detach from the outcome because many people are going to point out at you and say that you don't try hard enough or that you are going to point out to other people and say that they don't try hard enough. So uh, I feel like that is all the messages I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below if this resonated to you and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Like and subscribe and let's move on to pile number two. Hello, this is for everyone who picked pile number two with the Green Adventure in Stone. Here is your message. Oh my God, yes, I love this card in this deck. The Nine of Pentacles means money, baby, means that you are manifesting a shit ton of money and it is coming to you. Be very prepared about the money uh, that is coming towards you. It feels to me like you're a money magnet. You are uh manifesting money and it will come to you uh so um fast it will come to you quickly and it will help you grow your personal income this doesn't mean that money will come to a joint account this means that money comes to your account um 
and to you only this money is for you because you're gorgeous because you're beautiful because uh, your efforts are paying off um, because you don't need to put any effort at all this means money uh, in the bag because you are an amazing uh, person the nine of pentacles means that you are going to um, manifest so much money and i really see you uh in a hot tub with um money just flying around uh and of course this is you feeling beautiful about yourself the pentacles energy is an earth kind of energy it is more grounded it means material wealth it means material anything so uh the nine of pentacles if doesn't resonate to you as money or material things it means that you are grounded it means that you know uh where to put effort and you know that all the effort you put towards yourself is going to come back to you tenfold so do put uh, effort on your uh, on yourself, your knowledge, your um, I don't know. Maybe you look too, because of course everyone needs to get dressed and feel good about themselves. So why not? Uh, so new moon in Gemini for you feels very very uh, interesting, materialistic uh, in a materialistic way. Oh my God! You have the tower. You have no idea how much it is to come for you very very interesting why though is this good yes it's for a good reason i feel like you oh my god um this uh i'm just a small channel yet so uh but i feel like you look a lot like i looked like this particular card but uh it doesn't really matter what you look like but i feel like there is a tower moment that is coming to you for this uh new moon and up until the full moon and it is going to be so transformative for you and in a good way i know the tower card at most times means uh transformation it means big change it means uh that we cannot control uh, the changes that are to come but i feel like you are going to have a tower moment and it is going to come from you from your uh not from uh outside sources but from yourself and it will help you manifest the dream relationship that you have always wanted uh, i feel like I feel like the message is so clear. The Tower card is a major arcana card, so it corresponds to major events in our lives. It means uh, something that at times we cannot control, but I feel like this Tower moment for you specifically, uh, it means a lot. It means that you let go of control issues. It means that you... Uh, manifest the partner that treats you well and treats you kind and you just uh, um, let go of anyone who doesn't treat you the way you want it to. Uh, I really feel like this tower moment is going to be very important to you. Maybe because we are like kind of uh, in the middle of the year as well. We're going uh, to have the next six months uh, to come for 2023 too. So this tower moment is going to be a very important time stamp for you for this year but it will help you tremendously manifest a beautiful relationship soon enough because uh, you have let other people know exactly what you want and why you are angry at them and why you uh, want specific things um, I feel like people perceive you as someone who is very high maintenance but at this point you don't care that you are high maintenance because you're maintaining yourself and you don't care anymore about other people who can't take care of you because you already take care of yourself and why should you uh, care for somebody who can't care for you too? Um, I feel like you're somebody who has uh, struggled in the past about uh, what they give in a relationship. Let's see if I'm right. Yes, the Four of Pentacles. You have been holding uh, your energy close to yourself. Uh, oh my God, Four of Wands. Very interesting. Uh, this particular Four of Wands is different from uh, other decks because this Four of Wands basically means that you are onto your journey. You have the ticket and you just have to cross the bridge and get in that vehicle of life and uh, go to your uh, destinations. Um, I feel like you 
uh, have been manifesting a relationship for a long while now. This four of wands basically means that you have put some specific kind of, um, how do I say this? Uh, I feel like you are manifesting a relationship. So this four of wands makes me think of a checklist. Uh, for example, uh, I want someone who can drive a car and has a car so we can go on uh, dates together and go to the beach and go to these uh, various other things so we can travel. Check if this person has it. Um, I want my person to have blue eyes. Has this person that I like have blue eyes? Check. So all these checks uh, narrow down to four specific that are the most of most importance to you and if a specific person doesn't have them you just uh, don't even uh, care to look at them there is this huge four energy for you four of wands four of pentacles four of wands also means that you are passionate about this you are passionate about manifesting uh, this relationship uh, the wands correspond to our passions our desires our inner uh, like i said the, our inner desires our inner beings um, and also some kind of the unknown as well and the four of pentacles basically means uh, again more material kind of uh, energy and the four of wands in most tarot and in this one particular too basically mean that you are holding your energy close to you that you are protecting your energy from other people in most tarot this particular figure holds on to the pentacles and they are far away from a town that is pictured in uh the card as well but in this card as you can see we don't really have a background but it still holds the same message the four of pentacles is an energy shift uh is not much of an energy shift basically it just means that uh you are holding your uh energy close to you it feels to me like you are reclaiming your power uh for example uh, if you're somebody who has always been giving out and giving out and never getting anything back, this is a very good practice for you to ground yourself and call your energy back to you. Um, I, uh, but I really get the money message very, very clearly because you have two cards that corresponds to uh, the material wealth and money and you also picked the green adventuring stone which also corresponds to money and also the heart chakra um, mostly the color green corresponds to money but still it still means that you are manifesting money um, let's see I, I but I really feel like all the work you are doing over here is because you really want to manifest a calmer life. Your true uh, heart's desire, a, a, the relationship of your dreams. Um, I feel like your the relationship of your dreams will come from um, such a good emotional place. You and the other person and the other people that you are manifesting uh, to be your soulmate i really feel uh, like saying the word soulmate here um are going to be filling your cup and like as you can see in this picture overflowing it uh as you can see in this card interestingly enough even though it is the ace of cups there is this crow figure that holds on a coin a pentacle so the message about money is still very prominent with this particular deck even though the basic message is that there is a huge emotional impact over here i know this is not a major arcana card but it is an ace of cups and aces are all about new beginnings and this video is new moon in gemini and like i said before the new moon energy is about us manifesting new beginnings and especially uh, new beginnings about our emotional selves so and the gemini and the new moon in gemini specifically suggests that we need to communicate our needs so i really feel like communicating your needs will come in a tower moment or at least it will look like a tower moment um to other people but to you this is um 
maybe it will not come off uh, as you being angry for example but it will be uh, you in all honesty and you showing your feelings exactly as you feel them I think that I want to get uh, more cards already uh, I feel like for you for this particular pile it is going to be a smaller kind of uh, less minutes uh, uh message but i really feel like for you the message is pretty clear and i don't think that i need to say uh, a lot more over here uh, oh no i think i want to get a romantic message because like i said there is this soulmate energy uh we have over here so let's see if i am right let's see a romantic message for you for the new moon in gemini and until the full moon let's see we have our two cards perfect we have the calling in your soulmate oh my god uh pile number one got this card also and we have the card trust mm -hmm. i feel like reclaiming your power will help you tremendously trust yourself and trusting yourself will only help you trust other people again very very soon uh, this card says this situation is calling for you to have faith uh, this doesn't mean that you need to have faith in the other person that you like um, it just means that you need to trust your intuition and trust your inner power and trust that your body or your mind will react if something is not right for you or if someone is not right for you. Believe me when I tell you our body reacts uh, in various ways when we are not supposed to be somewhere we're not supposed to be. So... Um, I think that this message corresponds to this Four of Pentacles energy and the Nine of Pentacles. All these three cards to be exact because like I said there is this feeling that you need to have four specific things that the other person needs to have and I feel like there are four things that you need to work on before you go and get yourself involved with a specific person but I really feel with this, four, this Nine of Pentacles energy over here that you are reclaiming your power and reclaiming your and reclaiming your power basically means that you are trusting yourself and you're trusting your god that everything will work out the best way possible and if something doesn't work out you are going to react to it the moment it happens this is the tower moment as well we have the card calling in your soulmate, which we also got in pile number one as well. It says, your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help you bring you together. Of course, every form of manifesting will help you attracting the, the person that you desire, uh, the person that you want to spend your life with, your soulmate, whatever you want to call them, and your prayers are called your prayers are out there already you need to trust yourself a little bit more that everything is going to work out for you i think that's something that will help you a lot with your particular situations is listening to um affirmations or using subliminals um i can link below some subliminals about soulmates that have helped me uh with my own story of course uh but everything works uh differently to each person because of course we are all different but i feel like um you can just uh if you have trouble manifesting uh, a relationship i feel like it's because you're having some kind of trouble uh, trusting yourself that everything will work out for you and this is something that believe me when I tell you it can totally change it is just a change of mindset and uh, affirmations and uh, like this card suggests visualization or prayer prayers that you uh, give out to the universe will help you tremendously with your situation like I said again if something uh, of this sort doesn't really help you manifest you can always 
find videos with affirmations and visualizations and it will help you manifest anything literally anything let's get one last card uh i think i want to get a more general kind of uh, message more of an outcome kind of card let's see maybe something uh that can help to come towards you because i feel like i already said that uh you have a lot of things to work about yourself so i feel like you need a gift <laughs> by the end oh those are way too many cards <laughs> let's get them back and let's continue shuffling shuffling what is to come for you the fates interesting um this card corresponds to many cards in the tarot this can mean either justice it can mean wheel of fortune it can mean the judgment card as well the fates basically means that uh um even though some things feel like they are set in stone your intention and your attitude towards a specific situation will help you a lot more than just believing in karma and everything that is set in stone for you. Uh, the fates basically means that you are the manifestor of your life. You need to get your life in your own hands and not let other people around you uh, turn you down. I feel like you are somebody who needs to reclaim their power and get fate in your own hands and not let other people beat you down uh, because they say you don't deserve the things that you want you deserve to have the things that you want and that is the end of uh, the message like I said again I said a huge part of this message for you today is to use visualizations and use affirmations you can google uh, videos and watch them and put them while you sleep in order to help you manifest a better mindset and everything will work out so much better for you it will help you see that life is easier than you think and manifesting your soulmate is also easier than you think so that is all the messages i have for you today thank you so much for watching leave a comment down below if this resonated to you let me know in the comments as well if you have more ideas for videos I love to give people what they want, so like and subscribe for more videos like this and let's move on to pile number 3. Hello, this is for everyone who picked pile number 3 with the blue lace agate and here is your message. We have the king of cups. There is somebody in your life who is... Uh, their zodiac sign falls under the water sign, so... Pisces, Scorpio or Cancer and I feel or they have uh, huge uh, water placements in their chart and I really feel like there is this big love energy. What is it with uh, love messages in particular with uh, this video? I don't know why. This is new moon in Gemini and new moon in Gemini is more about communication and stuff but maybe uh, communicating your feelings to a specific someone who loves and adores you why not um, if this feels more like you are the person who is depicted over here or you are a water sign and stuff it just means that you are in your own power you know exactly uh, what you deserve emotionally and uh, in life and it feels to me like you are very calm it has this calm energy the king of cups is someone who is artistic they know their worth they know exactly how to communicate their emotions and i really feel like there is somebody who has thoughts about you they it feels to me like you are in someone's mind and it feels like you are a ghost in someone's mind this is very very interesting let's get more cards already i know we are only one minute into the reading but uh figure cards are interesting to read just by themselves oh my god you have the page of cups too 
interesting huge love energy what is it with you we have the emperor again another card that corresponds to a more masculine energy like the king of cups suggests another masculine energy as well but more of an uh emotionally intelligent kind of masculine energy and we have the page of cups the page of cups corresponds to someone who is close to you who is a dear friend to you and uh maybe they have uh it it seems to you like uh they are just a friend but i feel like there is more to it than just friendship uh in this particular deck i feel like um uh, there is someone who who um who has their eyes on you and they pay attention to all the little details that uh that make you tickle i don't know why there is uh also the emperor card which is a major arcana card and major arcana cards correspond to bigger events in our lives so if you can't really recognize who this person is uh, i really feel like they're going to make their presence shown very very soon as you can see those cards i uh, have more sub colors uh they're more desaturated more blue uh the color blue means communication and it means calmness it can mean uh sadness too i feel like though that from sadness comes uh the kindest people because uh they experience uh this emotion deeply and this emperor energy is hugely different from uh this particular one the emperor card corresponds to the zodiac sign of aries so either you are an aries or the person you have in your mind is an aries uh but i feel like they're going to make their presence shown the emperor energy suggests structure it suggests routines it suggests things that need to be done a specific way and not in another way and uh, i feel like this is vastly different from this energy we have over here i feel like either you are this person and you are manifesting this energy into your life or this person is this uh calm energy and you are somebody who really wants to make this happen really wants to uh take the leap of faith and go your way uh and go the distance and make things work uh i feel like you um in the case where you are this particular person the more active one i feel like taking action um is going to help you a lot for with uh manifesting uh this particular energy in your life but um you can see how different they are maybe you're manifesting uh two people uh which is totally fine of course and they are vastly different from one another but still again i feel like you are somebody who um wants to turn some kind of friendship into a relationship and you really really want to make it happen uh the emperor is card number four and the number four corresponds uh numerologically um uh, into one word which is the structure because in order to build something you need to have a base and a base basically one needs uh four specific uh points to in order to build something out of it so i really feel like structure and building a base so maybe this is why um you feel like your soulmate needs to be a friend first because you really want a specific base before you build anything on top um i don't know let's get more cards i feel like somebody has some kind of uh control issues uh funnily enough in pile number two we got uh in pile number one we got let go of control issues as a card which is interesting um let's get more cards though the, it doesn't really matter what other piles get every pile is different but interesting enough at all piles we got romantic messages about soulmates so is it the summertime that we want to manifest uh people in our lives we have the chariot yes hmm hmm card number seven the chariot is another major arcana card just like the emperor uh over here the chariot is an interesting card the chariot corresponds to the zodiac sign of cancer so again uh if you are uh a water sign 
this basically uh, means that uh, you picked the right pile of course if this is something familiar to you um, if it resonates to you you picked uh, the perfect pile the number seven for some reason stuck out to me a little more i feel like you will, uh, you're going to have a specific message about a soulmate in seven days so may, maybe in a week when you watch this video the new moon energy holds itself for uh, a long time until the full moon and after the full moon again um we have the full moon energy so the new moon energy is all these uh fair, up until the first quarters we have this um new moon energy so i feel like something from the past is coming again for you the chariot is an interesting card because uh, the chariot suggests movement and it suggests that you can do uh, more than one things at once and uh, in classical tarot we have uh, the chariot uh, and two horses on the front which basically means that you need uh, force in order to make the chariot move so uh, but this particular deck is different as you can see there is uh, this eagle figure and it just goes for it and it just comes to you uh, it feels like it, it flies out there uh, in order for you to to make it uh, jump on your hands. So I feel like something is coming for you. Something, someone, uh, a specific situation is coming back to... Um, I don't know, maybe there is something from the past that didn't really have closure. And it comes again in a form of a friend. Maybe uh, you are manifesting a soulmate and your soulmate is an old friend of yours or somebody from your past. It doesn't have to be a friend. Uh, it just needs that someone from your past uh, who you were close to, like a classmate or um, an old neighbor coming back into your life. But still, it feels like a soulmate connection. It feels to me like you. this person comes again into your life because you didn't have closure with them. Um, it happens a lot of the times. Most of the times, actually, um, things that feel to us like they happen again and again is because we don't have closure. We don't uh, manifest ourselves out of this uh, situation, no matter how much it hurts us. But again, uh, I feel like there is somebody from the past who is coming again in your life and uh, they come in a form in the form of a friend um uh, cancer season is up upon us too after the full moon in gemini in gemini season we have cancer season so late june uh july energy you can always come back for more videos and also i have many many videos uh, uh in my channel about soulmates and uh, more videos of course you can always suggest me more videos in the comments if you have a specific question about this reading too uh, or about yourself i love uh, commenting with uh, more cards uh, with with advice with more of my cards uh, but back to the message um, i think that it is pretty clear but um in the case where you are not manifesting uh, a relationship, working out or whatever it is, I feel like there is some kind of uh, situation from the past that calls your attention again. And it's, it's something that it feels very emotional to you. This can mean anything. This can be a project that you paused for a while and it comes again uh, as a sign to you to work again on it. And it makes you feel all these feelings and it will help you uh a lot with your path from now on because we have the emperor the emperor is the leader so it calls to you to become a leader this particular project the chariot card is um a card that uh, corresponds to our finances and our career too um so i feel like your finances are going to uh, move upwards finally or you are going to move upwards i also got a specific message right now in my head uh, that you uh, that something that has to do with moving is working out for you maybe you're buying a new car or getting your license or uh, you are traveling safely maybe you thought that you didn't have the money to travel but uh, it, it just 
manifest is the way to you so you book your tickets and fly uh, to your destination using a plane using uh, a bus whatever it is that is happening for you but manifesting uh, safety um, while driving manifesting uh, a car if you want to is something that is vastly suggested over here let's get one more card what is this emperor energy four of wands interesting more of a fiery kind of energy with the wands the wands correspond to our desires our passions uh something that we desire in our hearts and the eight of wands uh this in this particular deck is very different from the other uh tarot decks because in most tarot decks the eight of wands means movement means go out there it means that you have set your intentions and your intentions just fly out there it's like the image of a bow and an arrow and you just shoot the arrow and there is the arrow uh, up in the air which uh, people may think that it is just a moment in time when they just see an arrow and a sky above them but it is just a moment before it uh, just passes uh, over us but in this particular card this is a very different message this doesn't really mean movement this particular card means pause uh, in this particular deck this card is called a mermaid's dream and as you can see there is this uh, image of calmness of the mermaid who sleeps between these two rocks and it stops the water from movement uh, from moving uh, to its destination and I feel like there is this dream element over here. Um, I'm not sure why. Maybe you manifest uh, too many things at once and it is perfectly fine. Um, I feel like the message that I need to give to you right now is that manifesting uh, many things is not a bad thing, even, even though may, maybe people think that you need to focus your energy on one thing at a time. No, uh, definitely not. You can manifest many things at once. You just choose a different time of the day to do so. You need to uh, choose a different phase of the moon as well before you start manifesting a specific something. Um, or when you do a specific something again, uh, think about it in a visualizing kind of way for example uh, like I said to my best friend the other day uh, whenever it is that you put a lock uh, in your house to open the door and go inside uh, before you see yourself uh, before you open the door and see the house that you already are in uh, visualize in your mind that you are opening the door with a new key you are opening a new door which is safe and you open the door and you see the apartment of your dreams you see the sun you see the beautiful view of your apart of your uh, <laughs> of your visualizing uh, apartment whatever it is that you want to see before you see the 3d real thing that you have in front of you because this will help you will help your manifestation come to you a little bit faster um so doing specific things while you're visualizing something else is something that I know it has helped me a lot. So I know it works. Uh, again, you can find more messages about this particular uh, way of manifesting by Googling them. Uh, this way of manifesting is called the law of assumption. You basically It basically means that you ignore whatever it is that you have in front of you and you just focus on the feeling and you focus on... Uh, your mind what you have in front of you our mind I feel like saying uh, another thing too uh, our brains don't recognize what is real and what it is uh, in our minds and what we visualize so we might as well start manifesting exactly um, not manifesting seeing what we really want to see and it will come to us faster because it will find a way our minds will match a specific energy to come to us let's get a romantic message for you oh it flew right here 
on the chariot. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Of course, it will help you bring romance. And it will bring you anything that you want. And it doesn't mean that you are rainbows and flowers and colorful things. Uh, positive thinking doesn't mean that you need to be happy uh, before you feel happy. It just means that you go into your world clearing out the energy of things that you don't like to have in your life and focusing on the things that you like. You don't have to have a positive uh, thinking uh, mind in order to think good things about yourself. You just think good things no matter what you feel like. Oh, one flipped. And of course, it is the soulmate card. I really felt so. Of course, of course. You have the king of cups. The king of cups is the soulmate uh, energy man over here. And you have the card soulmate. The, yes, this is your soulmate. So if this person feels good to you, it feels like they make your body feel good. It makes your mind. This person makes your mind feel good and your heart feels safe. Uh, yes, this is your soulmate. This person is good for you. You know it. And uh, I really feel like this particular message is more of a confirmation about a specific someone. But uh, you need to also know that uh, the, the things I said about the Eight of Wands too, about methods of feeling yourself and uh, making your uh, making things come to you uh, faster too. Your soulmate is out there. It is going to happen. Stay focused about the things that you want and start seeing them in your brain, because again, our brains can't get the difference between reality and what it is in our heads. So start start seeing exactly what you want and believe me when I tell you, it will just manifest its way to you so fast. You have no idea. But um, I mean, if you're here, if you're watching this channel or if you're new, I feel like you already know about manifestation. Uh, you are drawn to the occult, obviously, because you like videos about tarot too. So... Let's get one final card, which is going to be what you're going to get out of these uh, situations that you're on without trying. Let's see. Let's see. What is the outcome of this reading? One flipped. And it is the Observer. Beautiful. I mean, I feel like your soulmate uh, already... Again, I feel like this Observer card is your soulmate looking out for you, looking for you. I feel like maybe you think that you are the one who is looking for your soulmate. But believe me when I tell you, I feel like, again, someone from your past is coming again uh, and they have been observing you. Maybe they were following you on social media and they have missed you. And they really want to be back in your life. So if you see a little message from them saying, Hi, I am in the area. Would you like to come with me out for a coffee? Just go. Don't think about it. I feel like this person is very, very good to you. And they will make you feel so good about yourself too. And everything will work out perfectly for you. So that is all the messages I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below if this reading resonated to you. I love reading your comments and I love responding to your comments. If you have more questions, if you have a specific something to tell me, I love to get more cards uh, and commenting back on your comments and replying to your comments with more cards if you have a specific question. Of course, it is for free. You don't have to pay for anything. I do this because I love it. Uh, this channel is dedicated to Tarot because I love Tarot. And I can't wait to make more videos for you guys. Thank you to everyone who is who watched this video. Thank you to everyone who left this video playing because they wanted someone to keep them company. Thank you so much. It helped my channel grow so fast i'm so grateful for you guys and i can't wait to see you in my next videos like and subscribe and come back again don't miss the next videos bye